Yo, what's up guys? I'm back. It's freaking early o'clock. Right now it's 5.30. I gotta be in Toronto at 6.15 to run a footy session with none other than soccer kinesiology. Uh, we're gonna have a good session today, so I'm excited for that. But it's early. That's the only time we can get the field, so... I guess it's gonna it's gonna have to do but right after I have to fly back home because I have work at nine so it's gonna be tight but yeah I'm gonna take you guys along yo so uh, I just pulled up kind of late though my guy is looking ready over there holy I am amped what a session this is gonna be oh the weather's nice too holy shit look at this for some footy. Oh, you're vlogging? Yes, sir. Yeah, like, I don't know what this shit is, but there's, like, all this fluff on the floor. Bro, the setup is looking clean. <laughs> My guy came equipped. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Got everything ready to go. As you can see, soccer kinesiology. I'm gonna put their Instagram right here. Make sure you check him out. My guy Andrew. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> My guy Andrew, legend. Yeah, if it's to play footy, I'll wake up early. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. Yeah, let me tell you my experience with your videos. The first video I saw was uh, your uh, don't get the don't get the shot. Right? Don't get the, <laughs> the COVID one. Oh shit. My guy got another setup over there. What is that? That's a camera. Oh shit, did you set all this up? Every time athletes ask me like if they can help set up, I'm like, it's kind of tough because like everything needs to be like measured out and stuff. I see. I know you're a science guy too. You're a, uh, what is it, bio, biomedical engineer. Yeah. I love explaining things to engineers. Everyone knows the terminology and stuff. Like if yeah, I say like yeah. ground reaction force, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's, so, it's so much easier to communicate. All right, check this out. The first test we're doing is just a 20, 20 meter. Yeah. 20 meter sprint. We're reporting from that angle and we're also gonna record from this uh, front angle as well. Okay. I'm gonna teach you how to do a three point start. Basically, if this is the starting line, right, you wanna be a foot and like a half away and then opposite arm right on the line. This arm is a kickstand. As soon as you let go, you should fall over because you have a lot of weight on that arm. Okay. Foot and a half. Here's where my thing should be. Yep, your stronger foot, yep. And this one on the line. Yep, so all your weight should be on your front foot. Get that back foot a bit closer. Can back I head past this line? Yeah, yeah. A back foot closer, back foot closer, yeah. So you're coiled up like a snake. And, and then, then you should have a, lo a lot more weight on your on your hand. A lot more weight on your hand. So you're almost falling over. Yeah, my hand's gonna break. Yeah, and then as soon as you let go, you're gone. Yeah. This is like the, the special thing I had for you. I'll explain why I made it after. Okay, okay. Here's how this happens for you. Behind the line to start. Start, you can go on the right side. Zigzag, however you like. However you like. After this, you're sprinting straight until you cross that line. So that finish line is also the start line. Okay. We went right, left, right. Yeah. Second time around, we're gonna go left, right, left. Okay. Open up the stride, open up, open up. I felt like the second one might be my best one. So we just got done with the, why is it so close? Uh, so we just got done with the 20 meter sprint. It was all right. I, I think I could have done better to be honest. My second one, it's one of those ones where they, you get three attempts, but your second one was better than the third one, which is kind of disappointing because I felt like I could have done better, but 
We'll have to wait till the footage gets processed. So yeah, we'll see. So right now we're about to do some customized tests that he has set up. I think I'll do way better on this one, to be honest. It's more uh, zigzag in and out. I think I'll do better. We'll see. Well done. Yeah, it's crazy to watch. It's actually crazy to watch. Nice. 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 The way you get out, the way you get out of that is sick. Just got done with the. Uh, what do you call that? What did you call that one? I literally made it up. I haven't thought of a name yet. Oh, <laughs> I, so that was a. <laughs> he's analyzed a lot of my highlight videos and he's designed that test for me. Um, we'll see how it looks when it renders and stuff and he analyzes it. I'm excited for that. So what's the next one called? Illinois? The Illinois, yeah. The Illinois. The Illinois agility one. <laughs> Looking deadly right now. <laughs> it's good though, it's good. Good session today, good session. My hair is not having a good session though. That one is deadly. That one is deadly. The Illinois Crusher is what I'm gonna call it. My quads are done though. Oh. Now we're about to move on to some passing. Get the touchdown. Whew. I need to take a rest. Because when you look at it now, it's clear, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just when you try to get a quick glimpse, yeah. it's like fuck, like especially if it's changing numbers too in that time. But you look, it blows off my whole concentration. Back. That's where we throw it in. But it's super game realistic. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm training sackage, I would call the number and I'm like, no way you saw that. So I would check myself and I'd be like, fuck, like, you actually got it. He, he's that fast. But you're like, in terms of this, I've never seen anybody better. Last one, 
I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead. Woo. All right, yo. Shout out my guy. Put me to work there. <laughs> Check them out. Soccer kinesiology. Is it just you that runs the page and everything? Yeah, just you. Just you? That's my guy right there. Like it's good to have these like one-on-one -on -one sessions where like you're actually analyzing my play and stuff and like helping me individually because like coaches obviously don't do that, right? Yeah. It's more like a team-based training that they give. Yeah. So it's good to like, as an individual, trying to like, you know, play play like at a higher level. It's good to have that kind of uh, training. What are your goals for soccer? I don't know. It was the last, very last season before lockdown. I was training my hardest. I was literally telling everyone like, it's either now or never. Like I'm going, I'm going hard. Like every training session, I was pushing myself to sprint, sprint, sprint. Like I was just working really hard in the gym all the time. Like I was, I was in top shape, and then COVID came. I was like, shit, now I gotta like have a backup plan kind of thing. If it wasn't for COVID, I don't think I would have started YouTube at all. No, I guess and like, I'm, I'm glad that I, I started YouTube. Like I have a lot of fun doing it. So your boy is back. If you're trying to improve your individual game, he is the guy to go to. So make sure you guys check him out. I'm dead, yo, I'm so bust. Well, now I gotta fly back to work. Work at nine. It's 8.30 right now in Toronto. I've got to fly all the way back to Brampton, which is probably going to take me like 40 minutes. Absolutely great session today. Oh my God. Yo, my legs were dead. Dead so after that. Hair dead from the beginning, but... Ooh.